Two areas where big banks can improve are technology and data analysis. Those have long been weak points for old traditional banks. Data really is what's going to tell you what kinds of products and services you can continue to come up with. She says there's growing competition among banks themselves and that Apple, Amazon, and other tech companies are offering more financial services. But independent banking analyst Nancy Bush says consumers' banking needs are so varied that there's room for all kinds. Banking customers, I think, have done a very good job of segregating themselves according to what they want. She says regional banks might struggle to keep up, but the big guys, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, City, they're going to be fine. In fact, they've been beating earnings expectations this year. The problem, unless Amazon is going to establish physical banks somewhere or a physical point of contact, is that occasionally in your financial life you need those. Amazon's not there yet, but it also wasn't that long ago we used to think of that company as a bookseller. I'm Andy Euler for Marketplace. Today in foreign exchange trading as a proxy for political uncertainty, the British pound. Sterling took a bit of a tumble today after Parliament said thanks, but no thanks to Prime Minister Boris Johnson's Brexit timetable that would have gotten the United Kingdom out of the European Union by Halloween. What comes next? Honestly, could not tell you. Wall Street on this Tuesday, mostly sideways. We'll have the details when we do the numbers. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praise, glory, honor to Yahweh, Baha Shami Yahweh Shah, Baha Racha Kodash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father name. Yahweh Shah is the Son name, whom the real ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah and Jesus. Baha Rakha Kodash means in the Holy Spirit. Because through the Holy Spirit, we're able to understand these prophecies, parables of the scriptures, and go out and worship the Father and declare his truth and truth, sincerity, and charity. And the Holy Spirit is our comfort, it is our understanding when we read the scriptures and see how the prophecies today line up with the scriptures. And I was listening to NPR radio, and it was mentioned like 60% of the banks is not gonna uh survive the economic crash that's coming and the economy is not doing better it's only doing worse and they got to keep up with technology and data and part of technology and data i'm driving right now i can't really pull out the scriptures a hey, according to prophecy we understand that they're going to try to push the rfid chip and rfid chip is going to be the new wave of technology is going to hold the ultimate data man okay and they're going to push that in the, uh they pushing it already in the media people already got it Okay, people been having the RFID chips years ago, decades ago, man. Okay, but there's gonna come a time when it's gonna be made mandatory. Okay, and this is gonna be desperate times, calls for desperate measures, and a lot of people is gonna get that thinking is beneficial to them. As you just heard from NPR radio themselves, man, saying a lot of banks got to keep up by getting in tune with the data and technology, which is part of the prophecy that uh, they're gonna push the RFID chip, man. Okay, there's gonna be economic collapse, man. The book of James tells you, uh, going how you rich man for the miseries that shall come upon you. What's those miseries? The economic downfall, the collapse. Okay, the scriptures also says, um, that's the book of James, the fifth chapter. The scriptures also says, uh, and Malachi, Esau, Edom, they're gonna try to build, but the Lord is gonna throw down. What are they trying to build? Their new world order, their one world government, one world currency. They're going to create a uh, disaster and they're going to have the solution. And that solution is going to be RFID chip, man. This is how Esau Edom work. But through the scriptures, we understand who Esau Edom is. We understand he is the wicked. We understand he is ruling in the end days because according to prophecy, it says Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. That second Nazareth, that second Nazareth is in the Apocrypha, man. I believe the uh, sixth chapter, fourth chapter, uh, I believe... I like again, I'm driving right now, I can't really quote it, man. So and Esau Edom is the Caucasians who dwelleth in the clefts of the rocks, according to Obadiah 1, man. And this is the agenda of Esau Edom, the head of the heathens, man. The elites, man. And according to prophecy, also says that uh house divided cannot stand in America, okay, the European Union, the EU, they're divided, man. You got the Brexit going on, okay. The whole controversy around that, they want to get out of the EU by Halloween. You just heard that on the radio. That was the whole point of me playing that because, you know, it was on my spirit to just push it out there and warn the people, man. Yeah, economic collapse is coming. A downfall of America and a way of the world as we know it is coming, man. And the elites is going to try to build a new world order, which they're going to try to push the chip. And they're going to try to push these things as if it's the norm. 
But as the man of the Lord, as a prophet having the Holy Spirit, we go out and declare these things and tell you to refuse the chip, repent from your wicked ways so you won't get caught up. Because when an economy collapses, you're going to have murders. You're going to have pestilence. You're going to have uh, robberies, man. Uh, 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 people spoil your houses and you're going to have rape on a mass scale. It's going to be death and destruction, man. Not to mention a World War Three that's been going on. The troops being gathered in the Middle East, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, that's the book of Joel. Why? Because the church of Israel has woken up. The prophecy of the Lord is speaking. And the Lord is done punishing us for our iniquities. He's going to punish the heathens for their iniquities, man. But he's going to gather them in the Middle East to judge them, man. But these are all prophecies, man, just flowing. I'm you know, just quoting scriptures through the Spirit. You know, just wanted to do a quick lesson, man. But we must repent, keep our integrity, and wait. On these prophecies of the past, but when you hear certain things on the radio, the news, we understand that these things line up with the scriptures, man. We understand hey, the book of Romans 15 and 4 tells you, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, man. So when he when we hear these things and see them right with them before our eyes, the chip being pushed, cashless societies, man, Amazon go, go as you pay the chip. Okay, and we see them try to slowly for surely push it, man. We understand that the Lord spoke of these things. These things must come to pass, not for our destruction and us to fear, but ultimately to warn us and let us know the end is near, man. We in the end of the end. The scripture says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. When our Lord and Savior came on the scene as a man, they, the apostles and prophets and the men of the Lord hoped to see that day and they thought that was the end. And the Romans was ruling. They're still ruling today through the rebirth, through the reincarnation of these uh, European unions. The same uh, European unions that's breaking up, man. Through the NATO, okay? That beast system. And who's the horde that ratted the beast? America, man. Okay? Who's in cahoots with the NATO and the EU, man? Okay, the seven heads and the uh, ten horns, man. And it talks about in Revelations. All these countries which makes up the seven heads and the ten horns, man, which makes up the beast. But all this is prophecies and letting us know, hey, our Lord and Savior is on his way back. We must repent because when he come back, he's not going to meet thee as a man. When he come back, that's in Isaiah. When he come back, Matthew 10 and 34 says, think not, I come to send peace, but a sword. Okay, there's uprisings around the world. The Lord said uh, the fire is already going to be kindled, man. These the you hear uh the, the the war gearing up man they all gonna be gathered in the valley of Jehoshaphat they're gonna be fighting each other then they're gonna stop to try to fight the Lord and they're gonna lose okay and Israel is gonna be redeemed the elect of Israel and the rest of the world and the wicked and two thirds of Israel they're gonna perish in that wickedness and that sins and unbelief man because the law statutes command was only give us Israel only we could transgress therefore we was getting punished for our iniquities that's why we in captivity that's why we gotta uh, work. That's why we're slaves, man. When we hear these things and see these things, we understand what it's for and what it worketh, man. Okay? Because the Lord spoke on these things, man. But that's really, I just want to uh, state that, man. Hopefully you can, uh, it all makes sense and you can hear it through the spirit, man. Can't really read no scriptures and pull it out because I'm driving right now. I mean, slavery, of course, which some people consider as work. But it's captivity, man. The book of Baruch, which is also an apocrypha says we are yet this day in our captivity but in our captivity we're going to think upon the name of the heavenly father man we're going to rehearse the righteous acts in the land of drawn waters man what is that talking about here in our captivity man the book of deuteronomy 28 and 68 said we was going to come into egypt again we in egypt again man and we're going to be delivered from egypt again just as we were delivered in the old Egypt, man. So, Lord, what hope the lessons that are found? I want to give all praise, and glory, and honor to Yahweh, Baal, Shemmy, I'll shout double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the most I set up to push this truth, the holy man, the holy apostles and prophets, back to there in the reincarnation, and Shalom to all those that listen and believe, man. Shalom. We fight. We in the end of the end, and our salvation is nearer than what we believe.